Hi guys, so this is just a quick video just to uh, show you the process of uh, doing a vehicle graphic. Um, this is not going to be a full wrap, it's just going to be like a partial panel wrap. Uh, the brief is, the customer is a plumber, uh, he does uh, heating and plumbing, uh, but he doesn't want to have a logo like other heating and plumbing logos in that he doesn't want a spanner or a, a pipe or a, a water droplet or anything like that on it um, so I started by just designing up this logo for him the company is called Flowtech and it's like a, like a bluey tealy color I don't actually want it to be blue and I don't want it to be teal um, so this is what I came up with for him with the F and the T the F and the T are supposed to mimic pipes I suppose um, and also then the lines here are you know to, sh to indicate heating and uh, to hot and cold so um, plumbing and heating I think it's fairly self-explanatory but uh, it, the fact that he didn't want to have your typical um, your water droplet or anything like that uh, this is what I came up with for him so this I have to make this now suit uh, that vehicle which is a Renault master van supplied by Joe Mallon Motors in Nace so it is a short wheelbase and I think it the height of it is maybe two or height three so medium or a uh, high roof I think it's a high roof not a super high and uh, so I'm going to make those graphics suit this panel and uh, yeah I'll be back with a, a few other clips uh, shortly thanks guys and I'm using Adobe Illustrator which you can see here the graphics without the dark panel behind it are a little bit lost so when you put the the dark panel in there you see uh, it just really helps it pop so the word flow and and the tagline plumbing and heating that's going to be in metallic silver so you can see it here that's going to be metallic silver and then the orange tech that's going to be a really bright vibrant glossy orange as well and then the F and the T that's going to be digitally printed um, I'm going to use a Metamark vinyl for that, a polymeric vinyl MD5 with air release um, the background gun barrel grey colour that's going to be 3M 1080 film I'm not actually sure what the code is but it's going to so this is just a quick glimpse at my printing output file I've tiled everything so this greeny blue panel is for the bonnet and then on top of that I'm going to have the metallic colour and then these are the stripes for the sides there will be a natural break in the middle so I've divided them in two and just have a small overlap and then here I have the F and the T and they're all rotated as well just so I can save uh, material and just so that it's more economical So I'm just going to cut the, the silver text now, so I select all the silver in this box and I know it's going to fit within my sign vinyl because that's the width of the box, the rectangle that I have there. I'm in sign lab here, so I'll cut, plot, and then my text is in here. I just always hoosh it, hoosh it back a little bit from the front of the page and uh, then I press cut. And then if I come over here to my plotter you'll see it's gonna start cutting the text there from the metallic silver so if you look up close you'll see the, the metallic flex in the vinyl really really nice and then running alongside the, the plotter I'm printing uh, the material the, the blue material that's going to be going on the van here uh, so this is a print and cut Roland as well uh, so I can use this as a large plotter if I have to plot or cut any four, four foot letters or anything that, that's a little bit larger than my two foot plotter, I'll uh, use four foot. Um, but I really like having, having it operating this way because I can be using the sign lab for cutting my letters and then use Adobe Illustrator for... Um, Printing and outputting my full color work as well. So. List up the letters, or I'll have to cut them again. So, uh, 
freezing way, what you don't want. like to just make sure rub your hand across the bonnet because under your hand the palm of your hand and your fingers you can feel a whole lot more there's a few small little nicks in the front nothing I can do but all the dirt and dust has been removed so we're good to go okay so I need to line this up with knifeless tape let's have a look at the drawing uh, it's a really quick really simple drawing done just to give me guidance on the van so uh, passenger side I always print this on the same material that I'm using on the first 12 inches of material I'm printing with because uh, what that does is it just uses that contaminated part of the roll uh, that you've been handling with your fingers that you're not going to use anyway. Um, so that's what I do. And then here on the front, this is the, the drawing. So around the edges is blue and in the middle we've got metallic. Let's stick that up there. So on the front, as you can see, I'm going to do something really cool here. Um, we've got blue and metallic grey. And I'm going to do a knifeless tape butt join here between the grey and the blue. So that will be something for you to see. It'll be kind of interesting. So I need to just line out my line with my knifeless tape now. Okay, so I just follow whatever kind of line I think looks nice. And this natural body line here looks pretty cool so I'm gonna hug that one okay, so I'm gonna go on the top edge of that line with the first the first line I'm gonna have to lay two two lines of knifeless tape here so come around front like this this is gonna be done by eye guys swoop along the front here Come back up until we meet the line on the other side. I'm going to stand back and have a quick look at that and see how we look. I didn't measure anything here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. So don't pull the knife as tape too hard because uh, it'll cause you issues in that you're putting tension on it if you're. If you're going to be swinging it around the corner, your filament on the inside can slip out from underneath the, the top layer and uh, cause a bit of damage on your vinyl. Okay, so up on the top line. Fine. Put that away. This is finish line and not design line. So finish line is really strong and it doesn't snap. Uh, design line um, is a little bit more flexible it can snap in the warm weather or it can bend so uh, I use finish line most of the time it just cuts really well and it's 
it's good and strong so uh, that's my my first line okay so I need one more line on the inside okay so I'm actually gonna put it below here so second line this will all become clear guys as we go along what I'm doing here right <laughs> So there we go. Boom. Okay, a little bit of heat on that now. We'll just let that grip. There we go. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna lay the top layer down first, which is the metallic metallic grey which looks really nice now just use centre hinge probably, probably the easiest and just make sure the dust is away Make sure your your backing paper tool, your little cutter is uh, has a, a sharp blade in it. I need that there. Little tip, guys: put it put a piece of masking tape at the back of the vinyl to stop that from slipping when you put tension on it. Your magnets move most of the time. So right over. Lay that on, and the thing I love about 3M vinyl is it has a control tack on the back, and it just allows the material just to glide um, above the surface. You can see there, the wrinkles disappeared. And if I want to use heat on there to get that to sit properly, um, and so long as I don't apply pressure with my squeegee, it will never grab. I can reposition it over and over again. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this on here just to get this to grip for me and then I'll do the other side any air bubbles guys you just rub those out with your fingers degrees index finger pinch it tight you're not going to cut your finger and pull now this is cutting through the metallic film and the blue in exactly the same spot so we have a butt join okay and again we pull the, the green filament out both pieces scoot around with that make sure you have the two of them there as you can see we do one breaks but that's okay tear away the bit of blue we don't need which is all this rubbish up here. okay gone then now what you need to be careful of guys is we have now left a little bit of blue under there so i'm oh, sorry the, the metallic gray so that has to come out so okay guys so I've pulled out all the excess and choked on half of it <laughs> So now all you need to do is just relax the vinyl. See, it's puckered a little bit. So just hit it with a bit of heat, let it relax, and then work your way back around. So now, guys, as you can see here, we've got a butt join. I hope you can see that. 
right there. Okay, so like I said earlier, if the material does shrink a little bit on the bonnet because of the heat, uh, one won't pull against the other. And it'll be a nice little pin line of the original grey coming through. And no one will ever see that. Because So now I'm going to go around and trim it. I'm not lifting the bonnet because I have a lot to do and I'm just going to trim it tight to the edge, post heat it and all will be good. I have no tension on the edges so it will be fine. So I'm going to work my way all the way around, be careful not to expose the grey. I'm getting about a millimetre of bleed there and that's because I'm pointing my blade downwards away from the paint and that gives me a little tiny lip to fold underneath to hide the grey all the way along careful when you get to the corners here we go and uh, back up to the top okay lean your blade downwards be careful at the corners so you don't cut the knife I use here guys is um, it is a Swan Morton 10A, a Swan Morton knife uh, with a 10A blade and I just find those the most accurate for tight cuts. I also use this NT cutter but uh, it's a little bit more for like a workshop environment. Right. Peel away. Okay so that looks really cool. Now all I'm going to do is post heat all the edges. So guys, I applied this panel up on the top. Okay, which was very very simple and probably very very boring so I didn't even include it in the video um, so at the bottom part here um, I'm going to be applying this strip all the way across the bottom as you can see it's in the artwork here okay so we need to drop it inside that body line um, and I have a straight line all the way across here cut on the graphic so I don't need to use knifeless tape there but I need knifeless tape here so uh, I'll just apply some knifeless tape along there now and I've marked out where it needs to be dropped on too. So it needs to start dropping here. I just marked that with a marker. Okay, so this is where it's gonna come from, about here. And then I'm gonna round this corner all the way down inside that body line, all the way down. It's probably about a 30 mil line there. And then I'm just going to swoop it in here at the end. Okay, so it kind of hugs the body line, so it actually it will complement the van, the shape. I'll cut it there. Okay, so on my top edge of the vinyl, like I said, it's straight all the way along. And then I'm just going to cut it here and let the vinyl fall in there. Okay, so really, really simple. So I've got my blue stripe done in two pieces to save me on material. Um, I just stacked them in two sections. And I'm going to have an overlap just here on that line. Okay, so the vinyl straight across. Checking that you're covering the bottom. Yep, looks good. Okay, squeegee through the middle, guys. I'll work your way. Careful around the edges of the van. Squeeze you down. And guys, I'm not going to be performing any fancy tricks around the corners or anything like that here on this uh, because no one's going to care about that. It's not that kind of job. Just there's so many different elements to this job, I decided to, to do the video on it because, uh, yeah, because there's printing, design, knife tape, metallic vinyl, and uh, gloss vinyl. Uh, digitally printed so a little bit of all sorts so here I'm going to feed this into my groove 
on both sides. I'm not going to use knife tape here. I just have a brand new blade in my Swan Morton 10A blade. I run a straight line down along there. And then I will overlap that with the next piece that comes over. going to lay the vinyl in this top panel here uh, guys you can line all of these edges here with knifeless tape to make sure that you don't cut the make sure that you don't cut the uh, paint um, there. I have plenty there so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna do it in two pieces save me time uh, and effort so I'm just gonna divide the panel here right down the middle of course being careful not to cut the vehicle uh, move that up there. Slide this over here a little bit. I'm gonna have an extra few inches and bleed. Alrighty. We'll do this in a piece, and then we'll do your piece. All right. Center hinging. Should be fine there. Okay, guys. Real simple. Half the backing paper. Trim. Hey guys, one of the reasons why I used it, the wrapping cast here for the the, the back panel is because uh, these panels are like 28 or 29 inches wide. And uh, if you get a 60 inch piece of material, which this is, it is 15, 20 in millimeters, I believe is 60 inches you just divide it in the middle and then you have enough to fill this panel and enough to fill the other panel on the other side uh, which which helps a lot and it's just economical as well so i'm going to hit all the high points glue i'm going to hit all the high points guys get a little bit of tension on the vinyl here high points being Areas closer to yourself. Remove the backing paper off this piece. Bring that over there. Top corner, bottom corner. Attention. Okay. So now I'm just going to start squeegeeing. I'm going to use a bit of force, guys, because uh, it's a little bit cold in here. Um, I think I checked it, it's like about 10 degrees, but it should really be for, for wrapping uh, up around 18 degrees. So we're a little bit low, but it doesn't really matter. I just need to post heat everything and make it make sure it's stuck really well. And uh, uh, perfect. So I'm going to do this throughout this panel. Don't create too much tension on your panel because you'll end up with an adhesive line through tension. So just go up a little bit. There we go. Make sure the center is stuck well. Okay, I'm gonna post heat all these little imperfections out of it uh, at the end. For the moment, I just want to show you this. So what I always do then, guys, that little bit of tension just acts like a, um, another pair of hands. So I always roll around the edge with my finger like this. Okay. And then, I use my blade on the body line, just be careful. Only put it in and put your blade in about three or four mil guys, just so you don't hit the hit the paint on the other side. Alright. I'm only five foot seven, so I need to use the step ladder to get to the top here. Okay blade is in three or four mil, up to the shape of the panel, 
no fancy business. Okay, peel away the excess film and repeat that all the way around the whole panel and then feed your vinyl in to meet the reset. So take that out of there. Then guys what you're gonna do is literally there's no tension on the vinyl at all. It sits in there and you just apply it into the recess and then trim. When you're trimming just make sure you have a brand new blade. Like I said I use Swan Morton 10A blades and they are uh, for me they're surgical blades guys people perform uh, brain surgery with them so they will be perfect for getting a lovely clean cut in there. Okay so repeat that on both panels and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Alright, so I'm going to work from here down and then here up just to divide the, divide the panel into two even sections. Okay, so I am going to use my bodyguard knife now. So I just need to Bodyguard. So here we go. One stretcher here. It runs between the the vinyl and the backing paper and allows you just to start from the middle and work down and start from the middle and work up, which is just really easy. It's like having an extra set of hands. So here we go. So, so now I start from the middle line where I just used the bodyguard knife alrighty nice and gentle here we go down so if you mask application tape on here guys ah just there is just no need for it So guys, uh, the battery died in the GoPro, so I'm just going to give you a quick run around the finished van. Okay, so the front has the metallic background and the metallic silver, which looks really nice, and really gloss orange. And then we've got the printed tone down at the bottom. And again, we have our butt join there. All the way around the front. Okay, we come around the side. Looks really nice. And the metallic silver on the side instead of white looks really good. And the blue at the bottom. Yeah, so I think it looks really nice. And it's different, which is what the customer said is from the beginning. He wanted something different. So that is it. Finished. Ready. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, I'll do lots of more videos in the future.